want to see how I make this pizza continue watching the video hello guys welcome to a food kitchen I'm going to make pizza today <laughs> cups of strong bread flour so the first thing that i'm going to do is put one teaspoon of salt into this flour because if you don't season the flour then the pizza will be totally tasteless so i'm going to mix that in a little bit and then i'll add half a teaspoon of black pepper half and I'm gonna give that good very good mix then I'm gonna put that to one side I have some warm water so I'll be adding one spoon of sugar to this water then I'll be adding one teaspoon of yeast, dried yeast. And then also I'll be using, this is olive oil. I'm going to use one teaspoon of olive oil. And then I'm going to give that a good mix and leave it to activate i'll leave it for three minutes to activate so when i come back it should have activated and foamed on the top so while i leave that there i'm going to start my, on my chicken which i'm going to season for the pizza browning for five minutes guys so I'm going to take it off and cook and brown as you can see the yeast is activated see the foam on the top so I'm going to mix that into the flour I'm going to leave it well in the middle and fold it So guys, I'm now ready to put it in my bowl. So I've rolled it enough, I've kneaded it enough. I'm gonna put some oil over it. And I'm gonna rub some oil in the pan in the bowl. And I lift my bowl. And I'll drop it in the bowl and I'll cover that for about an hour with the with some foil and kitchen towel till it doubles in size. Oh my god. See as you can see it has doubled in size. See what I'm going to do is 
knock it back to remove the air bubbles I put my knuckle in flour and knock it back so now I'm going to roll it that's what the pizza dough should be like elastic so when you press it down it comes straight back up I'm going to roll this pizza into like a circle. See what I'm going to do is all this pizza pan. So, and then I'm going to put the pizza dough on it and then Stretch it out to, to the ends with my fingers. I'll try and fill it out as much as possible because it's a stretchy dough, so it will stretch to wherever you want it to take, go to. So, the next thing I'm going to do is oil the top with some olive oil. This will make sure it's nice and crispy on the top as well. So, next I'm going to Put my tomato sauce. And then use the back of my spoon. That's how I see them do it on TV. All these uh, professional pizza makers on TV. This is homemade pizza. It's not for selling, it's for us to eat, for me and my family, so it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's okay. There's tomato base, cheese and toppings. So this one only has cheese and tomato, that's it, nothing else. So this is for vegetarians. The next pizza is going to be tomato, cheese and red, I'm um, sorry, yellow peppers. And the pizzas are going to bake for roughly 20 minutes but i'll keep checking ever so often so it doesn't get burnt the next pizza that i'm going to roll out is the cheese tomato and yellow peppers vegetarians can also eat that too uh, as usual, I'm gonna uh, flour my hand with flour. As usual, guys, I oil this pan with olive oil too. So I'm putting the second dough into it, and I'm gonna do like what I did with the last one. I'm going to stretch it out, the, the ends, so it covers up the pizza pan. I'm still going to add some tomato sauce. And then I'm going to roll it around so it goes everywhere. Next. I'm going to put the cheese, some cheese everywhere, scatter it everywhere. So everywhere has some cheese. So next I'm going to add the sweet pepper. This is a vegetarian pizza as well because it's cheese, tomato and yellow sweet pepper. I'm going to add some olive oil to the top. Just drizzle it. And that's our second pizza. I'm going to do the 
last and final one and this is the pan that i'm going to use guys so i'm going to do the same thing like i did with the other one i'm going to oil it so the pizza doesn't stick when it's cooked so i'm going to bring up the last of the dough Let me fly my bowl a bit and then mix up the pieces. So as you can see, I'm rolling it nicely it's stretching out nicely and i'm gonna put it in that big tray soon see it doesn't have to be a compressor for when you're rolling it but when you put it in the pan then you use your hands to stretch it because it's a stretchy dough okay so it's in the pizza pan now so I'm stretching it out. It's a homemade pizza, guys, so it doesn't have to look perfect, you know. As as long as you've done everything that you you know to do, make the dough properly, make sure it rolls, make sure it's proof. You know, again, the topping. You still have a lovely pizza at the end of the day. So next what I'm going to do is put some olive oil over it so what this does it makes the dough crispy i'm going to use barbecue base and i'll roll it around so it's next i'm going to add cheese as usual the next thing i am going to do is add my sweet corn this is a chick barbecue based chicken and sweet corn pizza next i'm gonna add the chicken the pizza is ready to go into the oven now the three pizzas ready to go into the oven now for 20 minutes i'm bringing out the pizzas now they're ready so that's the chicken sweet corn and barbecue sauce pizza that's the cheese and tomato pizza and that is the tomato cheese tomato and pepper pizza so the pizza is ready guys just look at these pizzas i made nice crusty brown crust because of the olive oil oh that looks amazing that smells this the aroma coming from this pants i can't explain it guys like if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe and share with your loved ones and i'll see you in my next video bye